Today, we are taking a look at NVIDIA's latest powerhouses. I am talking about the 4070 Super, the 4070 Ti Super, and of course, the 4080 Super. These are all NVIDIA's new for 2024 graphics cards right now, and we are gonna dive into some benchmarks, we're gonna talk about some performance numbers, and we're gonna help you figure out which one of these new graphics cards is gonna be right for you. Let's start with the 4070 Super. That's what I've got right here. It's a great gateway to the latest in gaming. It's good for 1440 gaming. It's got about 7,000 CUDA cores, MSRP of 599. So it's really a good entry point, especially if you're replacing an older GPU, but you don't want to spend a ton of money. Now here is the 4070 Ti Super right here. And you can see the difference in size already. The 4080 is even bigger than this. Now this 4070 Ti Super, it steps things up. It's got over 8,000 CUDA cores, uh, MSRP of 799. And of course, this is great if you wanna start getting into 4K gaming, if you have more complex content creation needs, maybe you're doing some VR stuff, maybe you're doing a lot of 3D modeling, and you want something that kind of hits that middle ground between price and performance. Uh, this is overall gonna be a very popular choice with a lot of people. And this right here, plugged into our test bench right now, is the 4080 Super. This is the top of the Super line right now. Obviously great for 4K gaming, great for high-end content production, over 10,000 CUDA cores, and uh, 16 gigs of RAM built in. Starts at $999, uh, but that is a pretty reasonable price considering how high-end this card is. And if you take a look at some of our benchmark numbers, you're gonna see the difference between that 4070, that 4070 Ti, the super versions of those and of course this the 4080 super i just got all these cards so i had time to set them up for some quick benchmarking i did a few 3d mark tests which is good for gaming a couple of other tests and you can see the performance differential between the 70 the 70 ti and the 4080 super you can really see the jump up between the different models if you look at the 4080 and the 4080 Super, you may only see a couple of percentage points in terms of better performance, but you do get that much lower starting price, which I think is a big advantage. In the 4070 and 4070 Ti, going from the regular to the Super, you should see a much bigger performance jump. So all of these cards support things like ray tracing, like NVIDIA's DLSS technology, and of course the 4080 Super is really where you're gonna shine using all of those features at 4K resolutions, uh, playing you know, the latest games at the highest detail settings. So I would say looking at the lineup here, the 4070 is a great entry point if you wanna get into current gen GPU gaming, especially if you're replacing an older card in your system and you don't wanna to spend too much, but you wanna get something that feels very modern and very fresh. The 4070 Ti Super, that's that great middle ground right there. I really felt that was the, the right balance between price and performance. If you don't wanna spend a ton of money, it starts at 799 and it's a really good upgrade. Again, especially if you're coming up from a couple of generations behind, but your choice this is ultimately going to hinge on what your needs are, what your budget is, and what equipment you're looking to replace, or if you're building a whole new system from scratch and want to future-proof it for as many years as possible. So any of these three new cards, the 4070 Super, the 4070 Ti Super, and the 4080 Super go into your nearest Micro Center store. They have got them ready and waiting for you. And if you don't have one near you, well, then either comment or tweet with the hashtag, I want a Micro Center near me. 